What's up? Happy Sunday. I thought I would do sample day today. I like to do sample day every once in a while where I go through my samples and pick out a fragrance that I've never tried before or have never heard of before. And I thought that would be fun, but I thought it would be even more fun if y'all join me in my, my sample day quest, my sample day journey. What I did was I have a specific box that has fragrances that I've never tried before. Um, some of these are from, um, some of these are from Perfumology. Some of these are from Crystal Fragrance, where I get my niche um, samples from and my niche fragrances. I get them from Crystal Fragrances. And these are just like random, random samples that I just, I just grabbed a bunch and put them in a ball. So I thought it'd be fun for me to just like randomly grab one and maybe uh, do a first impression. I know this house, Corner Barcelona. I know this house is a really good niche house, but I'm not familiar with this particular fragrance. Rima, is that six or 11? I can't remember if the X is, is a five or a 10. But it's either Rima 6 or 11 from Corner Barcelona. Um, I'm not real familiar with this house, but I know, th I think they're from Spain and I think they're a niche house. But let's try this. Let's try this fragrance and see what the opening is and see what my first impression, my initial impression are. It's got a good sheen to it. It's probably at least a EDP. Let's see what we get from this. Alcohol. While I'm letting that alcohol um, evaporate a little bit, I wanted to let y'all know something. I want to go back to doing blind reviews. I miss doing that. I haven't done a blind review in a long time. A blind review is, is taking a fragrance and reviewing it, but not knowing anything about it. Um, not knowing the notes, not knowing the perfumer, not knowing anything about it. And me doing a review based only on what I smell, not what I've read or heard. Um, I haven't done that in a long time, and I think I'm going to start doing that again. Maybe not every single review I'll do a blind review, but most of the reviews I'm going to be doing blind reviews again. Ooh, that smells nice. That smells really nice. What am I getting? See, this is like this is why I like to do blind reviews, is because it's making me use my it's making me use my imagination. It's making me think about this fragrance. I don't know what the notes are, so it's really making me pick apart this fragrance and try to figure out what I'm smelling. I like that. I miss that. This makes the most honest review that you can do is talking about a fragrance when you're smelling it, but not knowing anything about it. If you already know everything about it, then I'm afraid, I'm always been afraid that it's going to make me smell things I don't smell. Like if I knew all the notes to this and I say I smelled or I read that it had apple in it, I'm afraid that I'm going to make myself smell apple when I really don't. So that's the reason I like to do blind reviews is because it makes me it really makes me think and concentrate on this fragrance. Okay, what am I getting? What am I getting? I'm getting the sweetness. First of all, I can tell that the quality is really good. I know Carner Barcelona is a niche house, and I think they're from Spain, I think. Um, this smells really full. Sort of thick. I get, I don't really get any floral. I don't really get any citrus. Not like lime or grapefruit or bergamot. I might be getting a little bit of lime, maybe. That smells so nice. I get, I'm getting a really nice sweetness in here. The main thing that I'm getting, the main thing that I'm getting out of this fragrance right now is a lot of warm spicy. I'm getting a creaminess. 
It's like a creaminess. Uh, I don't know if that could be vanilla, maybe, that's giving it a creaminess. It's probably too early for, like, detecting anything like sandalwood, probably. So, I don't know what's in the opening to give it a really nice creaminess, but there's a ton of warm spices. I smell warm spices more than anything. There's a sweetness in here that's almost, almost like a... Baccarat Rouge 540 sweetness, like the cotton candy type of sweetness. But everything's really creamy. Everything's really smooth. But everything's full. And there's a savoriness in here. All the warm spices are really smooth and mild and mellow and creamy. But there's something in here that's got a bite to it. It might be juniper berries to give it like a little bite, a little tang. Man, this is actually really, really super nice. I like this. Rima, either a 6 or 11. Corner Barcelona. Okay, what I'm going to do is go ahead and finish wearing this until the dry down. I'm going to put it on again tonight and maybe wear it tomorrow. And But I'm going to do a blind review on this. I'm not going to look up the notes. I'm not going to look up the perfumer. I'm not going to look up anything about this because I want, I want to tell you what I smell from what I smell, not from what I've read or from what I've heard from somebody else. It's going to be, this makes the most honest review that anybody could do is doing a review on a fragrance and not knowing anything about it. That is the most honest review you can possibly do because you don't know the notes. You're not going to make yourself smell stuff that you don't smell. <sighs> this smells so nice. This smells so nice. The main thing is a lot of warm spicy. Then I'm getting a sweetness like the Baccarat Rouge 540 sweetness. I'm getting a, some sort of a bite and a savoriness. But throughout the whole thing, there's like a creamy vanilla type of something. Maybe vanilla. I'm saying vanilla. I don't get any woods. It's probably too early to detect any woods. I might be getting a little bit of like amber. Maybe. I like this. I like this. I hope it keeps going. I hope it doesn't disappoint me and turn into like a really animalic musk or anything like that, like civet. Anyway, I will be back maybe tomorrow or sometime after I've worn this a couple of times and do a blind review. And I will tell you what I've smelled this whole time from this, how it develops, what I've smelled, what I think the notes are, etc., etc. All right, anyway, I love you guys, and let me know Let me know if you've ever tried this, um, Rima 6 or Rima 11. Let me know if you've ever tried this. Don't tell me what the notes are or anything like that. Don't do that, but I'll be back. All right, later. Love you guys.